they want me gone nah. But I ain't going away yeah. They told me I was wrong Fuck with me, I swear to God, God man Yo guys, what's going on? Back with our third division preview. We did the other two division previews in the both East, AFC East and NFC East. Now we're gonna head on to the um, NFC North, the division that had the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers in. It also had, it was actually won last year by the Chicago Bears who, somehow it doesn't seem like they're getting the same love that they got from last year. And there's a few reasons for that, but we will get to that. Let's start it in fourth place, who you got? Fourth place, I got the Lions. Now, let me say why, because I think a lot of people put the Lions like higher than I did. Um, they're not all there yet. They're not clicking quite yet. They have a lot of pieces, and they have a lot of young talent with you know Nick Fairley and, and Dominican Sue, who probably- Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson, all definitely. those guys. They have a lot of young talent. They need coaching, and um, they need a leader. No one's really emerged as a true, true leader yet, and uh, that's that's why I got him in last place. I got him at last place in like five and eleven. You know, it's, it's respectable, but it's oh, not, well, you it's know respectable what I mean. for the Lions. It's respectable for the Lions. Not nah, last place, and this might shock a lot of people. I have the Chicago Bears. Now, there's a few reasons for this. I looked at the Bears' schedule, and first of all, their schedule is hard as hell. Second of all, the Jake Cutler thing just seems like it's waiting to boil over and something to talk. They cut a lot of guys. All in crews. They still haven't addressed the wide receiver position. Don't give me the, oh, we got Roy Williams. No. Uh, their schedule is tough, and I see them uh, as 6-10, or 7-9 team. I mean, they're not going to be awful for a last place team, and they'll be in a lot of games, but I see them losing a lot of close games, and they're that team that's just going to fall back this year, I think. They're sort of half-assed looking to me like they're they're almost looking to go in a different direction from what they're yeah, at, which it doesn't, doesn't make sense. it doesn't make any sense when you're in the NFC title game no. last year, but I see what you mean. Uh, third place, who you got? I got the Bears. Okay. Uh, you pretty much just summed up what I was going to say. I got the Bears uh, finishing a little bit higher than you, like 8-8, eight and eight, maybe like, you know, 9-7, nine nine and and seven, seven, yeah, something, something like right that. I have the Lions, and I, I think that they could very easily have a better record than seven and nine or eight and eight, which is right where I have them at. But I mean, the Lions have a lot of pieces. I think Matt Stafford could be a top seven quarterback in the NFL if he's able to stay healthy. Maybe not this year, but he's got Calvin Johnson, he's got Dustin Pettigrew, he's got a lot of offensive weapons. The defense is only getting better. Jim Schwartz, who came from Tennessee as their D coordinator, has done a tremendous job turning that defense around. We talk about Dominican Sue and Nick Fairley manning that defensive line. That's going to make the entire defense better. Just don't run. Yeah, you don't run. And then with the push that they're getting, it's going to make the safeties and corners and everyone look a lot better for them. Matt Stafford can stay healthy. Don't be shocked if the Lions make a pro. But I know everyone's saying that they're becoming the popular pick. I mean, that they, something about this season for the Lions just seems to click. I don't know what it is. Second place, who you got? Second place, I got the Vikings. Um, now everyone's just, you know, the, the whole Donovan McNabb thing, it's it's whatever to me. I, he's not going to be anything more than like a mentor and a backup, I think. I don't think he has much left in the tank. I don't think he's going to lead this team to a championship. He's too inconsistent. You know, yeah, I've, I've, I've had people tell me that he could, you know, he has, oh, he has the pieces around him and Adrian Peterson yeah. and everything. I'm like, come on, dude, come on. He, I, I heard someone say that on the radio yesterday that McNabb really could lead this team. No, no, he can't. Because if they go to the Super Bowl, what McNabb's going to be doing is this to Adrian Peterson. That's what would get them to the Super Bowl, and it's not going to happen for the record mm -hmm. because he's going to be overused for that team. I see them around eight and eight, nine. I mean, look 17. at their own division though, with the run defense in the Packers and in the and in the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> don't even. And the Bears don't. If you don't have out of the defense. If you don't have a passing game, you can freaking forget about winning the game. I mean, I think McNabb will be pretty successful there. I mean, in, in terms of, I think he could throw. 20 touchdowns, or somewhere between 18 to 23 touchdowns, and about 10 to 12 picks. So, I mean, he could have a nice season there, and people are going to overrate what he does like they usually do. But, I mean, Donovan McNabb could help, could be successful. They brought back Sidney Rice. They cut Brian McKinney yesterday. That's disappointing. We had an interview with that. Every single, we had an interview with Leonard Weaver. He's cut the next day. So, whoever we get an interview with big players are cut the next day. So. It is what it is, but uh, second place, I have the Vikings, and I think that they could be a playoff team if a few things fall their way. First place, we both got the 
Packers. Um, I got them finishing around the 12 and 4, same sort of place. Um, not the same sort of place, I'm freaking lying to myself now. Uh, I got them finishing around 12 and 4, leading this division by a pretty pretty good margin, I think. I don't think any, I don't no. think the Vikings are going to come close to a 12 and 4 record. No. So I have them winning, you know, e easily this division. Um, they haven't done a whole lot this offseason, and a lot of people are blowing that out of proportion. They're trying to keep what they have now there, and they're trying to keep yeah, and I don't everybody think, around that I don't that think everyone franchise. understood how many people were really missing for this team. Yeah. They're missing a guy on defense. He, he's a linebacker. I can't think of his name right now. But uh, they also are missing Jermichael Finley, who's one of the best tight ends in the league. They're missing a couple of receivers. The Packers are going to be good this year. And they won the freaking Super Bowl. 13 and 3. They won the Super Bowl without those people. The question for me is who's the running back? I mean, you got Ryan Grant there. You got uh, Brandon, I can't think of his last name. And then you got James Starks who emerged in the playoffs. So you that's someone the one steps, concern for that yeah. team. But if, if someone steps up, exactly. it's gonna be pretty tough to not pick them to win at all again this season. Yeah, I mean they have they have uh, the winning pieces there. Yeah, so and it's I, just I remember putting it together again. They got probably one of the best defensive pieces to play Matthews. They got yeah. Charles Woodson, they, they got it all there. They got a stacked defense, and uh, if Aaron Rodgers can keep it up and continue what he's done, there's no reason that this team can't go back to that. Yeah, and I said that uh, part, like last year when I was predicting Eagles and Packers, I said that this could be the beginning of a dynasty for the Packers, and a lot of people laughed, oh, they won the wild card. It really could be, though. The, the Packers could be this team. They have a lot of young pieces. The only old pieces they have are uh, Donald Driver and Charles Woodson who are both in pretty solid shape. Who are both shape. veterans and are both, you know, leaders of that team. Yeah, they're both in pretty solid shape for their age. So I think that they will just keep filling people in. They got uh, Jordy Nelson who, who would start on a lot of teams. It's like their number three receiver. They got a lot of pieces there and I see the Packers making another run this season. Maybe not Super Bowl, but I see them making another run deep in the playoffs. Yep, yep, I totally agree. And totally that is agree. your NFC North.